read here is a, a brief summary of talking points which are sort of summarize what's in the white paper and what, what we've been arguing about. So here they go. <laughs> uh, number one, look for a system whereby producers can petition for alternative production schedules due to circumstances which limit how many performances are possible per week. For example, we get park performances, uh, etc. All the small little festivals that go on out there. We want to have a, a separate sort of agreement with, that will allow for those. Number two, the opportunity for the extension of a performance run, very important, by instituting an escalating per performance fee scale for actors, similar to what's in place in Los Angeles' AEA 99 seat waiver code. In addition, we propose setting a maximum number of total performances that producers can exercise the option to extend no more than twice, and that productions can move to a theater to extend only if opening, in the new, if opening in the new space occurs within two weeks of the end of the originally scheduled run. We also would like to propose that the maximum production budget for a single co-production be increased to $40,000 from its current $20,000. We'd like to offer the option of an alternative structure for rehearsal period. This structure would divide the hours allotted for rehearsal over additional weeks, with more rehearsal hours allotted per week the closer the production gets to tech. Instituting a festival developmental exception to the rule that allowed that let me re rephrase that. <laughs> Instituting a festival developmental exception to the rule that shows cannot be remounted within one year through the creation of a limited performance code. This code would adapt current rules to a production structure characterized by up to seven performances and limited tech time. It would be available for co-producers presenting either independently produced or festival runs, which show reasonable momentum and anticipate laying groundwork for full co-productions within a year. Perhaps as corollary to this, we recommend a structure in which companies could engage in developmental rehearsal sessions, either with or without an audience component, prior to the start of the official rehearsal period. Two exceptions to the video prohibition. Promotional excerpts for online distribution and distribution to participating artists for the purposes of pursuing employment. Under no circumstances would a producer or collaborating artist profit financially from either of these exceptions. We recommend that 30 minutes of videotaping of a production be allowed, which can be excerpted for online and artist distribution. We'd also like to see that exceptions to the two-play rule may be made for established producers of seasonal showcases if they are an established seasonal producer who has produced two or more shows on tier in each of the prior two seasons. Two, the actor package remains the same, i.e. producer agrees that equity stipends be determined by dividing seasonal gross by the number of equity actors and stage managers involved in the single show, thereby increasing and then potentially doubling stipends for that show. And finally, as an alter alternative recommendation, is the creation of a group of producers modeled after the Extended Rehearsals and Performance Group, known as ERP, in Los Angeles, which would, re which would reward companies with strong track records by enabling them to petition for longer rehearsals and performance periods with other benefits. So that's the breakdown of the issues that we're really fighting for in this paper.